Welcome to Whiskey's Journey. My name is Peter Fasciano. I bring you today's video with a heavy heart. I lost a friend this past January 7th, 2023. He was one of my earliest childhood friends and he passed away unexpectedly during a camping trip. So if you're new here, this is my Wednesday segment called a Sip It or Skip It. Normally I have my whiskeys randomized on my phone. I would usually pull it off the shelf, review it, and let you guys know if I'm gonna to continue to sip on the whiskey until the bottle's gone and replace it, or if I'm gonna sip on it and not replace the bottle when it's gone. Instead of doing that, I thought I would pay tribute to my friend Aaron and go with his whiskey of choice, which is Woodford Reserve. So I hope you guys stick around. I understand if this is not a video for everybody, please go ahead and skip it, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. So let's go ahead and get this review underway. And just like always, all the information for the whiskey is right here, along with my tallies for sip it and skip it. So let's get this on the nose. Up front, this is very sweet. Diving into it a little bit further, like defining the sweetness, what am I actually getting when I say sweet? It smells like maple syrup, a little bit of a sugary sweetness, a darker sweet, brown sugar, and maybe a combination of caramel and maybe a little bit of some burnt sugar. There, there's a darkness to this, a, a dark sweetness. And I don't wanna say that it's molasses. It is more of a syrupy side or a syrupy sweetness. There's a richness that's coming across here. Let's get it on the palate. Oh yeah, this is something that you would pour over pancakes. That syrupy, that syrupy sweetness that's coming through on the nose is coming through on the palate. I'm unfamiliar with the ABV on this, but I think it's 45 point something, 45.2% ABV. This was my first sip of the day, so I'm getting a little bit of a warmth going. I'm not expecting that warmth to go past the first or second sip, but we'll see. It's a good sweetness. I wouldn't say that it's overly sweet, but it's borderline with me. I'm not a huge fan of overly sweet whiskeys. More brown sugar on that, on that nose. Let's get that second sip. On that second sip, just like most times, I usually get more barrel influence. I'm getting that tannin sting on the side of my tongue. It's not too over the top, it's right on. That maple syrup sweetness goes all the way to the back. I get a little bit of barrel influence on the back of the tongue as well. The finish I would say is pretty medium. It's not too not too long. It's not long at all and it's also not, not short. <laughs> That's why it's medium, it's right, right in the middle. Fantastic tasting notes. Again, the richness that I'm getting on the nose is also coming through on the palate. I don't want to say there's any light fruit in here, but there's got, there has to be some sort of sweetness to this. There is going to be vanilla, honey, brown sugar, caramel. You're getting all those traditional bourbon flavors with the maple syrup kicked up just a little bit. I get a little bit of an oaky presence on the nose as well. Let's get that third sip down. Yeah, this is a very soft whiskey without being flat. You get that oaky presence along with the sweetness. The ABV is not overpowering. Having that medium finish and not having any sharp edges to this, it's a crushable whiskey. I can see why a lot of people like this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set this off to the side. And the way Aaron liked to drink the Woodford Reserve was over ice on the rocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and honor that. Got a good rocks glass. I was preparing for this video and I made my rock or my clear ice. So I got a nice big chunk. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there. And I do believe it's important to get a pretty big ice cube in here. So it's going to slow down the melting of the ice. It's not going to dilute the whiskey and you're really gonna get a little bit more of the true flavors of it longer rather than watering it down, proofing it down and changing the flavor quite a bit rather than just having it neat. So let's see if I can get this ice cube to crack. Nope. Now some people are going to prefer all of their whiskeys over ice. I have gone through a stage of not being able to drink it neat. And as I go through my journey, I started to notice the tolerance of the ABV or the tolerance of the ethanol. And I started to shy away from putting ice in it or putting water in it. And I believe ice cubes 
or when you cool down the whiskey, you're going to you're going to get a different profile. It's going to suppress some of the flavors and it's going to enhance some of the others. So let's see what the water will do to this. Brought out a little bit more of the oakiness. The sweetness has now taken a back seat to the barrel. Still getting the caramel, brown sugar, and the syrupy part of it. Just lowered a notch. Let's get that second sip with ice. Yeah, changes the profile completely. You have everything that is elevated when you're drinking it neat. It cuts down on the sweetness. The oakiness comes out just a little bit more or more the barrel influence comes out a little bit. It softens a soft whiskey a little bit more. And with the ice, it is definitely flattening it out. All right, one last sip and then I'll get to my sip it or skip it. And I think you guys already know where this is going. So every expression that I have of a Woodford Reserve is going to continue staying in my collection. This, from this point forward, is always going to be a sip for me. This is gonna have a permanent place on my shelf in memory of my friend Aaron. And each time I reach for it, it'll be nothing but grand memories. So if you guys have a drink, please do me a favor, raise that glass up and salute to my friend Aaron. And until next time, enjoy your journey wherever it may take you. And we'll talk to you guys later.